taking the time to speak with us today. First, tell us how you work on eye-hand coordination with your daughter. Well, right now, uh, they don't. She uses an iPad. She does play video games. Um, she also, I do a lot of eye-hand coordination outside of the video game. You know I mean, video games good because you know you're sitting here and you got to stay focused in on the. You know, a certain area, and right. then you have to have everything going like this. You know, so you're playing a video game, you're doing this right here. You know, also with this, you know, you're you're going like this. You have to move, and you, but you're totally focused on what's going on. So uh, I think that's really good. And also, you know, like playing baseball, you know, throwing a softball, rolling a ball to them. Those are things that can actually, you know, her her eye hand coordination has gotten better from letting her play on the iPad and do those kind of things. It's good to know that a video game like mine has something more than entertainment value. What advice would you give to children about training and preparing to become professionals? Well, see, I've wrestled. So, I really believe uh, wrestling, <laughs> I think, prepares you better for life than a lot of other sports. You know, basketball, football, baseball, you have a team to rely on. You know what I mean? If you had a great game, you could still lose because somebody else made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So, um, wrestling, if you win, it's because your, your coaches taught you the right way. You know what I mean? And you went out there and you executed it. If you lose, you know what I mean? It's on you. You right. don't go out there and do the right thing. So, um, I, I like individual sports just because they teach you how to win and how to lose. Uh, and everyday business is that right there, you know what I mean? You go in there, you got to be at a certain time, you got to go in there and work your hardest, because if you don't, you know, they might give you the raise instead of me. That's smart thinking. Tell us, Johnny, with the holidays coming up, what are some family traditions at the Hendricks home? Uh, we really haven't made our own, you know what I mean? Because uh, sometimes I don't even get Thanksgiving. Last year, I didn't even get Thanksgiving or Christmas, you know what I mean, because of fighting. So uh, I really haven't had a chance to get my family in a tradition, but what we try to do is I try to get back and get to see my family and her family, and then for Christmas, same thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, try to be around the people you care about and the people who care about you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that's very important. So uh, that's one thing that I really want them to know more than anything is that <coughs> family's always going to be there. I mean, no matter what happens, you got family, you have all this stuff, you have support um, outside of even us, you know. Uh, I think that's good to have. And <clears throat> for other traditions, man, uh, none of that matters to me. You know, like I said, family first, everything else second. What about Christmas trees and decorating the house? Yes, so I put up the trees, you know what I mean, I do it, I put up the tree, I do all that stuff, we, uh, I got a gift wrap, she does the gift wrapping, I got to hide it, and then uh, after we hide it, I got to bring it down that night, you know what I mean, after they go to bed. So, uh, that's the fun stuff, and just getting to see their faces in the morning. There's nothing like kids smile on Christmas morning. Tell us, where do you take your family when you do get some free time? Uh, about a camper. So we would go camping. That's something we did after my last fight. This fight, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to go to Oklahoma and then come back and plan a trip somewhere. You know what I mean? Just for a week. You know, Saturday to Sunday. And uh, just get away from life, live out in the woods, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And let the girls and just be together. You know, my, my daughter loves the camper. You know what I mean? She loves going out there even. And some nights she's just like, can you pull it to the house? And I'll pull it to the house and we'll just go out there and watch TV. She'll fall asleep and I'll take her inside. So that's what I want her to do is enjoy it and uh, just enjoy the outdoors. I'm quite the outdoorsman myself. Moving back to your career, last year you were told you would be the contender for the welterweight title. Then you found out you had to fight Kamen and win before you would get the opportunity. Instead of giving up, you shook it off and started training for tonight's fight. Do you think you were born with your extreme determination, or were you raised that way? I think it's a little bit of both. You know, uh, my family, my home life, also um, just competing for so long. Uh, and also, man, God bless me with a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> if I get mad over something like that, it's out of my control. You know what I, mean? <coughs> I can't control that. The only thing I can control is each fight. 
you know, <clears throat> and you can only really control a little percentage of that. You know what I mean? You can you can walk in there knowing that you're in shape, your mind and your heart is ready to fight. That's pretty much it. Because it let you know it takes a lucky punch. You take a guy down and he just sort of falls in a submission. You know what I mean? Uh, there's so many things that you really can't control in a fight. So um, knowing that I didn't get that, I was just like, hey, you know what? Maybe they, maybe God says, hey, I'm not ready yet. You know what I mean? Take take a little bit more time. You know, I got had six months to train for this fight. I, my camp got better. You know what I mean? I trained like I was gonna have a five round fight. So you know, there's a lot of good things that came out of me not getting that. Um, and so you just gotta take it. You know, you can't sit there if you get mad that you can't something that you can't control. Then <clears throat> it's old, there's always gonna be something like that. You know what I mean? Well, you're an inspiration to all of us. Word on the street is you love video games so much, you're known as a gamer. I played them that much, like 10 hours a day. Uh, my wife would sit there and she'd be like, she'd come in there at like 3 o'clock in the morning going, I just woke up from a dream. So I'd be sitting there and the next thing I know, like she'd be walking out and I'd be like, what are you doing up so late, you know? And she's like, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get, you know what I mean, I gotta get to bed. Uh, and so that's something that I really enjoyed. If you could see behind my mask, you'd find a smile, and I'm glad you're enjoying Elite Commander. Tell us what you think about the controversy surrounding Royce Gracie. Uh, yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's a sport. You know what I mean? Uh, we've seen it today where a couple of guys have held on or tried to go for the submission a little too long. Uh, as soon as a guy taps, man, it's over. You know, it, it, I'm not in here to... The biggest thing that I want is that we both wake up the next day and be able to train. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Health is number one. Any thoughts on Brock Lesnar? Uh, Brock Lesnar, he didn't like getting hit. You know, and <clears throat> the, the world knows that. Um, and for him to show up, hey, I'm not going to hate, you know, he, he did what he had to do to, you know, to make money. Teach their own, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, he's, he did a good job. He's a great ground and pound guy. You know, there's some stuff that even I try to use, you know, that he did out there. UFC has been around for a few years now. Tell us who some of your favorite fighters are from the early days. My favorites, uh, you know, I like, I like the guys who sort of started it all, you know what I mean? They sort of kick-started it. So I'm sort of a fan of, you know, like the Randy and uh, Iceman. You know, those guys really started it off. I remember watching them when I was a sophomore in college, you know, rooting for Randy and, you know what I mean? Speaking of college, did you ever think you would be a UFC fighter one day? No. I wrestled and uh, I still, I didn't, my senior year, uh, I prayed about it. And I ended up getting into it. That's how I got into it. I didn't like it at first. Why not? Uh, you know, that's a good question. The first time I went out there and trained, I was like, man, I don't, I don't know if this is right for me. I came back, prayed for two weeks, went back out there, and fell in love. So I guess it went better the second time around. No, it didn't go better. It went actually ten times worse. I got knocked out. And I woke up the next day. And then I was like, let's do it. Okay. <laughs>